So it's been about a year now since we've had the Hey Abby grow box. Hey Abby. Open the door. So lots of people have reviewed it. Tech channels, gardening channels, growing herbs, peppers, vegetables, spices. Hey, Unbox Therapy did a great review. And I know some cool talkers like Dopa's Yola has reviewed it as well. Now Yola smokes a shit ton of weed. I love the guy, but I don't think he grows a whole lot. So for us growers, you know that's all we do on this channel. We grow a shit ton of weed. So is it worth it? A year later, what does Matt, Matt, what do you think about it? A lot of people have been asking me, Matt, where's the follow-up video? Well, you guys have gotten it today. Now, before I actually get into that, I want to shout out the I Can Fam support on Patreon, man. The VIP Bean Club is popping. We sent out some fire strains and these are going out to all VIPs. So if you guys want to join up and get some of that fire genetics, mailboxes are burning down all over the country, join up with the I Can Fam on Patreon, man. Link is in the description below. Don't miss out on that shit. And speaking of beans and new genetics, quality Trip seed starter kits are a great way to start off your seeds, man. The germination booster is banging. I swear, man. Crazy. Check out my last seed to harvest video and see those crazy tap roots. That's all you need. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Yes guys, now let's start with the pros, because there are a lot of pros. First off, the size is pretty nice. It's a nice size that you can put anywhere. It looks almost like a small fridge or a mini air purifier filtration system of some sort. Honestly, it's really great. But granted, you got all those things built into a really nice frame that looks super sleek. And this is another pro as well, guys. It looks super sleek. It just looks super sleek, super modern. You can fit it into your living room and it would not stand out. It would just look so good. I love the wood over top and I love the white colors, man. It really does look fantastic and it looks lush it does look expensive guys let's be real it looks expensive and the great thing about it is that it's all in one so what you see right there in that size is exactly what you get there's nothing else that you need to put on the outside of it or attach to the side that makes it even bigger or bulkier it just is literally all in one so in there you got a light you got a carbon filter you got a fan you got everything that you need to have your plants grow really nice happy and healthy and it is a DWC system so you get super fast growth a lot of people People like DWC, man, you know that growth is super, super fast in DWC, especially compared to soil. The closest thing you may get is probably cocoa, but even cocoa is not as fast as DWC. Those roots being suspended in a nutrient-rich solution is fantastic. Now, I mentioned it being automated. It is fully automated, so it keeps all the smells and everything inside. Once that air circulation system is going and the carbon filter is pumping and everything's working, you're good to go. You don't smell anything coming out of there. So you can literally have it in the corner of your office, the corner of your living room corner anywhere and it looks super inconspicuous no one will know you got some plants growing in that son of a bitch so it's perfect it's perfect and it's also got a built-in lock so it's a really nice little efficient system just on the side of it you got a little hole you pop that out and you got a key and it, that opens the lock and the door slides right open now the locking system is pretty cool if you got kids and you don't want them to interfere with your grow box you got nosy people who may come over and want to see hey what's it what's going on inside of there it's actually got that lock and that lock will really help to keep them out and you know with inconspicuous stuff you really want it to be quiet and it's relatively quiet which is fantastic you don't want this object in the corner of your room making tons of noise going because when people come over they're going to be like yo what's that thing in the corner making a shit ton of noise bro so it being relatively quiet is a great pro Personally, I like that. Now, I did mention that it is fully automated. Everything runs through the app on your phone, which is fantastic. No matter whether you got an Apple or you got an Android, shit works with either. I've even downloaded the app to my computer on my MacBook and it worked fine. So from the app on your phone, you can actually tap in and manage your RH, your temperatures. You could dial everything in. You can set automated alerts. And it's a great way to monitor and keep checking what's going on in that grow rocks. You literally don't have to be in there every day doing stuff. And that's the great thing about it. It's super hands off. So if you got a busy lifestyle and you're Doing a lot of stuff you're going out to work and you're coming back in late or you just got a bunch of kids and you got a bunch of priorities and stuff to deal with this works fantastic so it's really hands off and great for a busy lifestyle now the feeding system is also pretty neat the Abby system comes with a subscription box which I believe is optional because if you know how to grow a DWC you can probably use your own nutrients anyway but for all beginners it comes with a dope subscription box and that includes replacement water soluble fertilizers replacement carbon filters sponges and plant baskets and I think you get that like every quarter or something and 
And that is pretty cool, but it is a cost that you will have to be billed monthly or every quarter or something like that. So you just gotta factor that in mind. But if you're already gonna buy nutrients, and maybe it may balance itself out. It all depends on how you grow. Now I think with the subscription, you also get like customer support. So if you run into any issues, then customer support is there to help you through that. So if you're maybe not such a techie person, that may be something that can come in handy for you. Now, like I said, everything is automated and works through the app. So it also gives you reminders, alerts. If you need to feed your plants, it'll be like, yo, you need to feed your plants, fertilizer in. You just say yes, fertilizer's in. And it'll literally just drop you through a little hatch and it looks super cool. So the food literally just drops off the food plate and straight into the water. The feeding process is pretty neat. So for me, I got some of those silver and gold packs in and that's literally what I dropped onto those little trap doors. I don't know what to call them, man. Little trap doors and I put the food onto that and it just drops straight on in and mixes into the water, bubbles in there. It looks almost like a little tight bar. So there are a lot of benefits when it comes to Hey Abby, especially if you got that busy lifestyle, you got a lot of people, you don't got a lot of space to commit to a whole grow area, Hey Abby's here to save the day. Now for growers like us, they may be a few things that you guys would need to pay attention to. A full disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Hey Abby. They did send me a version, the OG version, about a year ago, and we were able to review it, and we did an honest review, and here's a follow-up review. And again, we're being super honest with you guys, breaking everything down. They did not pay us at all. And by sending it out to us, that does not guarantee a good review. What it does guarantee is that I'm gonna give you guys an honest review, my thoughts after using it for a period of time. Because that's what it's all about, giving you guys the raw, honest, uncut, filtered opinions, man. So for me, let me tell you guys what I perceived to be some of the cons or things that I did not like as much. Now first off when it showed up on my door the packaging was not as discreet as I would have hoped it to be. It said big and bold on the side Hey Abby. You might as well have said it. Hey, this motherfucker's growing weed next door. So yeah. So hey Abby, maybe you guys may want to do something about discreet packaging. I don't know. Maybe less marketing on the outside, more on the inside. Now the unit was also a little bit heavy to move. It's a nice unit and it looks pretty small. It takes up a really small footprint. I'm talking maybe less than a one by one, maybe just about a one foot by one foot footprint. It's really small. But all that said, it is a little bit heavy to move. So I found myself having to move it a couple times. And when I moved houses, I had to put it into like a big U-Haul and then it ended up toppling over a little bit. And then it got some scratches and scrapes on the side on the front of the door and stuff. So that was not fun. But maybe that's a little bit of use or error. Maybe it's badly how I packed it, but still it's just a little bit heavy and inconvenient to move around but hey who wants to be moving this stuff around anyway now the unit itself does take up a small footprint but that said it is pretty small so if you're planning to grow massive plants then this is not the system for you now don't get me wrong you can pull a good harvest from it according to the hey abby website you can actually pull six ounces from the 420 version and up to eight ounces from the og version and the og version is what i have but unfortunately i didn't pull eight ounces so for me i found it a little bit smaller and in that sense it did limit my yield a little bit now it comes with a kit with like all sorts of tools and pruners and like a little scrog net and everything but there's only so much scrogging that you can actually do in such a small space. If you just look at the shape of it it's really vertical and it's a lot less horizontal space that you're able to utilize in that setup. So because of its size it's inherently a smaller yield that you may get. But if you run things right you can literally pull probably six to eight ounces again according to the website. Now the system is a DWC system. It is a hydroponic system. That means you can't run any living soil systems. You can't run cocoa. It's literally a DWC system which is meant for water. That means you gotta be in check with your pH, you gotta be in check with your PPM or your EC, you just gotta monitor all that stuff. If you're a guy who's used to growing and living soil and not having to deal with any of that stuff, that can be a little bit of a learning curve for you. And me personally, where I'm living at, the water coming out of my tap is about 10 pH, so it's pretty high. So I found myself having to pH a lot to get it down to that 5.5, 6.5 range, which you need for DWC so your plants can uptake those nutrients successfully. Man, it was a friggin' pain having to pH all the time. So again, something to be mindful of. Now the DWC system is like a double-edged sword because your plants grow super, super fast. You can get massive yields really quick in a DWC system setup. But if you go out of whack with your nutrients or you mess up on your feedings, you can run into issues just as fast. So you need to be mindful of that as well. And I think that's where the subscription idea comes in really useful because you can just use the subscription feedings that they give you. That fertilizer is actually meant for certain periods of your grow and that way you don't run into any issues with overfeeding or underfeeding. But if you were to try your own DWC nutrient solutions, you may run into that issue unless you just have it dialed in. Then you're...
good to go. Now, like I said, everything is automated through the app and that's one of the biggest selling points of the Hey Abby machine. You can literally walk into the room and say, Hey Abby, and that bitch will be like, yo, motherfucker, you want that weed? Nah, I'm just playing. But she'll be like, hey, what do you want? What's up? And that is pretty cool. So the fact that you have everything automated and you can monitor and keep track of everything through your phone, that is fantastic. But for me, I also found that to be a little bit of a hindrance because I'm just an old school kind of guy. I don't always want to have to go onto my phone to log in and see what's going on just to check and see what's going on in my plans check upon certain things to remember certain things it just became a little bit of a an inconvenience if you will because literally everything runs through the app so for seemingly trivial things like emptying out your reservoir you can't just literally take the container up lift it out and empty that bitch and throw all that water out of there it's got a little built-in hose which you actually got to use and suck it in and pour that into something else and again that runs all through your phone so you need to log into the app and be like okay I need to do a water change and it'll, it'll send a signal to the hey Abby machine and that way it'll and then it'll pump all the water out and it'll pump it out through a little hose which you'll then need to put into a bucket and toss out somewhere. So again, that extra step in the process can be a little bit inconvenient. And you know with DWC systems, you gotta change that res quite often. You don't want it to be getting too nasty, too stinky, and have it sitting down there for extended periods of time. So the automated system is great, but it also has a few drawbacks in my humble opinion. Not being able to remove your reservoir and physically dump it instead of having to use that hose to get everything out of there was really inconvenient. And plus I found a lot of times I was not even able to get all the water out of the res there'll still be a little thin layer of water under the, within that res that I'm not able to get out, which is pretty frustrating sometimes, especially for OCD people like me. Now, one thing I almost did forget to mention is that it may not suit certain strains. So if you're going a sativa strain, which is super tall, super lanky, and stretches a lot, that may not be ideal for this smaller grow box. It may be better for some autoflowers or maybe some indica strains, who knows? So again, that's something to consider. You don't want those taller strains crashing into the light because you got a fixed space that your plants can actually grow into. And Having just mentioned that, that's something that I haven't actually tried, growing auto flowers in the Hay Abbey. You know autos like that 18 hour light cycle. And I think the Hay Abbey grow box is so automated that you don't actually need to change your light cycle settings on your app. It goes from week one to week 12, all the way to flower, assuming it's a photo period plant. So if you wanna grow auto flowers, I'm not sure whether this will be the right setup for you. Now I don't know if they've updated things and taken into account the auto flowers, but that's just from my experience. Now last but not least guys, it may be considered costly for some people. The OG version is about a thousand bucks and the 420 version I think is about 600 bucks but either way it is a heavy investment especially for home growers who are often trying to grow on a budget like me I know myself I'm personally always trying to find budget ways to accommodate things I've literally just converted a cabinet into a veg area talking to me about budget check out the seed to harvest video on the banana daddy we broke all that down but for me those are some of the biggest pros and cons when it came to those now one thing that I do want to mention which may not be common to all of them it may just be my own which may have occurred during shipping or it may just be a QC control issue but my own arrived with a little bit of a dent on it and also the door hinge was completely gone like there was one door hinge where a piece was missing the door was just sort of hanging off of the bottom hinge and I had to like lift it in a funny position to be able to open and close the door so that was initially a little bit inconvenient but though I did figure out the technique to like jimmy it into position really easily but it's not ideal but again that may just be the unit that I got and that may have just happened in shipping so you guys let me know what you think of this setup do you think that this is something you guys would utilize it's pretty cool it's just you know hey Abby you just say hey Hey Abby, it activates. Hey Abby. It's an all-in-one system, light carbon filter, everything set up in there, but it does limit the amount of things that you can do. So if you're a person that likes to grow a lot of pants and have them spread out and doing all sorts of stuff, you are limited in that vertical space. You literally only got vertical space, you don't got a lot of that horizontal space. So it's just something to bear in mind. But I'm really keen to find out what you guys think of this, because 10 years ago, 15 years ago, heck, 20 years ago, this was not something that was even an option. So it's really dope to see where the industry's going and where we can go still. So drop it in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think man i'm always interested to find out what you guys gotta say and like i said if you guys want some fire genetics join up with the icann fam on patreon we got mailboxes burning down everywhere we're gonna get some new genetics in super soon you guys will be getting those so smash the like hit the bell you guys we'll see you on the next one peace